friends and today we shall discuss about how to create an environment activate the environment and to remove that environment and deactivate it all right so now i've uh, done a series of uh, videos on the basic uh, anaconda command from commands so you can just go ahead and watch them so firstly we will start with conda environment list so that we can see how many environments i have currently and I'm right now working with base, that is my current environment. And in previous video, we have seen how to switch between base and R, that means in different environments, uh, simply by activating an environment. Now here we shall see how do we create an environment. Now for that, I would simply write here, conda, uh, create, all right? And I will tell it that this is a new environment conda. And this new environment name is suppose my and I give it my Python, all right. And uh, this is collecting some packages now. It is telling me that uh, this is the environment location. And uh, would you like to proceed? I say yes. I want you to proceed. Now it says that if you want to proceed, either you can activate the environment, and when you want to deactivate, use this. So I would simply activate what it says: conda activate. Okay what okay i'll activate just as it says my python i've written the same thing and i'm activating my python and as you can see here that uh, my python has been activated now i'm currently working with this uh, my python okay this environment i can install various packages in this environment i can uh, reinstall whatever i want to do i can do here now what I do is I would um, simply deactivate this environment. Now remember one thing, when you're writing and you're giving a command to Conda to deactivate an environment, I will not pass here the name of my environment, that is uh, my Python, because it does not accept arguments. Now suppose I, it simply says Conda deactivate. Now I am not writing that, instead I am also mentioning the name of my environment, okay. Now see it will throw an error. It say that it does not accept arguments. So make mistakes, learn from them. The more mistakes you make, the more you learn. So we'll do now what it has said. And it has said that conda deactivate. Okay, I will deactivate. So now I am back to my original base environment. Okay, now what if I want to remove this environment? So what I do is I will write here conda. Conda, please remove, okay remove what i will um, okay i will write the name and the name is my python so uh, conda please remove my python environment okay and all please okay so it has removed all the packages in the environment my python and uh, now continuing environmental removal okay now if now um, the last step would be to check so i'll just scroll it a little right now we are just uh, checking our environment again let me see how many how many environments do i have now so uh, i could have shown you this thing before also that uh, never mind you can check it after before removing it or deactivating it please check your environments also uh, conda by conda environment list i missed this step but again i'm working with two environments right so you create again and uh, you can again list those environments okay so this is how you create activate deactivate and remove environments in your anaconda command prompt okay i hope this is clear and i'll be coming up with more videos to uh, help you install various packages either in r or in python in anaconda command prompt okay guys See you.